Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Steam World Quest. Today we are making our way into Act 3 with Chapter 11, A Blooming Corruption. Our boosted band travel east towards the, the so-called Cursed City to unearth a corrupted ancient artifact. We learned all about it in the last episode, so definitely check that one out. But yeah, let's get into Act 3. Chapter 11, A Blooming Corruption. Very interesting. So yeah, we're moving out of town now into a new town, apparently a corrupted city where the uh, twins are from. I gotta rem I gotta start remembering their names. I'm having a hard time remembering everybody's name now. <laughs> but I think this might be the last act of the game. This is as far as I can take you. Oh, wow, should we really do take her up on our offer of the ride. So it's no problem rolling up steep stairs and winding towers, getting through the locked gates, or suddenly standing on the other side of seemingly impassable chasms. But you can't take us any closer to the city? After that bumpy ride, my wagon needs some rest. Aw, oh, poor wagon, you just rest those tired wheels. Aw, oh, that's cute. <laughs> Very interesting. Well, we'll definitely give you some business, I suppose. Whoa, whoa, look at this, immediately finding a secret. What's over this way then? Ooh, we get overcharged. Heals one ally based on gears spent and deals 50% of any excess healing as storm damage to all foes. Whoa. Who is that for? I do not know. Uh. Yeah, who is that for? Oh, it's for, uh. Okay, that could actually work pretty well. I think that the regeneration and team repair at the same time can be a bit of an issue. I feel like this hasn't been as good as it could be. Maybe overcharge would be better. We could try that out. We'll see how it ends up happening. I'm not really sure. You guys probably know at this point I'm not very good at this game. But hey, let's check out what else might be available. Is there anything new? Doesn't look like it. Same weapons. Learning machine. Increases experience points gained by 50% more effective on low level heroes. Oh, that's interesting. Very expensive though. Heat proof lining. No burn. Interesting. So some of this stuff can be helpful if there's a particular enemy we're going against that's good against certain things. Always good to keep it in mind. Um, all right, well, what will most of that be? I wanna see what new cards are to craft even if we don't craft them. We have Issue Challenge, which taunts one foe and lowers the strength by one grade for three turns. Uh, taunt, victim always targets whoever taunted it. Hmm. And we also have, over here for Galio, we have Chill Out, ooh. Uh, raises one ally's frost and storm damage by one grade each for three turns. Oh, that is so good for Copernica. Tempting, for sure. And then we have Water Bullet over this way. Does 90% magic is frost damage to one foe. Combo deals an additional 80% magic. Huh, also tempting, because that, oh, that's not even a gear move. Like, neither of these are. That's really good. I can afford this one. No, no, not that one. This one, as well, I can also afford. I think that would be a great combo to figure out. And then we also have Arcane Shock. Deals 225% magic as arcane damage to one foe and lowers their arcane and storm defenses by one grade each for three turns. Wow, uh, that's quite a lot going on there. It's it's Terra and Thane. I don't know if I'm ever gonna remember that. Uh, we got Dark Matter. Deals arcane damage to all foes equal to 25% of their current health and up to 300% magic up to 300% magic, okay. This damage cannot be improved or reduced. Got you. We also got uh, Dark Matter, not Dark Matter, Hidden Blade, that was the other one, was Dark Matter. Uh, deals 260% strength, is piercing physical damage to one foe and inflicts despair for three turns. Despair, victim can't be healed. That could definitely be helpful in certain situations we can't afford at the moment, unfortunately. Okay. Well, I definitely wanna go and figure this out for our good buddy. Maybe get rid of poison. Maybe it's time to say goodbye to poison. Maybe say goodbye to Tinker. I don't know if Tinker really helps as much as it needs to. But I can definitely do Water Bullet and get rid of Steam Punch because it does frost damage and that's huge. We could really work that out with some other characters. Most importantly, of course, Copernica. And then we could do, like, I feel like if I want to do that, I got to start doing Super Soaker again. And then what else did I get? I got Chill Out, which, uh, oh, that is so good. So obviously we have one too many here, something we'll get rid of. Maybe just Shield. Shield's up, just have one of those. And we'll see how that goes. It might not be perfect, we'll have to wait and see. 
But for right now, we're sort of good to move forward and just sort of hope for the best. What's going on out this way? It's a spooky swamp. Whoa, we got enemies. What are these guys? These guys are new. Uh, so yeah, we'll definitely have to figure some things out. First off, let's take a look. We got Mordica A, weak to arcane, and we also have you, who isn't weak to anything, you're just good against frost and arcane. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll have to keep that in mind. But, hold on. What about you again? Okay, you're strong against fire. So I actually know that I should probably have uh, Armili attack the, the, the Wraith, or whatever it was, and then Mordica A will be attacked by, I mean, I guess the other two, but they're also, I don't know, it's a weird situation. Um. No, no, I, th I think that'd work. Anyways, we'll cycle through this. Under Bravado, I'll do that. Could I get, uh, I can't, okay. We'll do all in. We'll try this out and see what ends up happening. I don't know if it'll be crazy powerful, but it'll at least be an interesting start. Okay, yeah, we did. Okay, intangible, so that won't do anything, unfortunately. That's fine. I know that the, the statue is a little farther ahead, so we should be fine with if we, as long as we don't get taken out, you know? So let's go ahead and do this. Okay. And we could try overcharge. I could also, well also there is the combo. I don't know how that works. Do I have to do it before or after? We're about to find out. Okay, that did the combo. Nice, okay, I don't think it really matters too much as long as they're both in the same turn. Okay, we can do this out. That hurts a bit and that stinks, but we can definitely make this work. Let's do the focuser. I'll do barrier to herself and then we can do, we'll do creeping cold, we'll see how it goes. We'll go do the electricity as well, so that's nice. 217 damage, like it's a resist, but it's still, ooh, pretty good. Okay. Okay, so we could do chill out on you and try something like that, because it you know, should increase the damage, that would be really nice. Oh, and there it is. So yeah, there, that's some good combos between Copernica and, uh, Copernica and Galio. Maybe we could also, like, maybe it might be worth it to change our Millie out for, oh my gosh, I forgot their name again. I gotta say, Terra and Thane. Anyways, for right now, we'll heal. We'll knock down some of these bushes and get a free treasure chest, because why not? Found, found repair elixir, okay. What's down this way? Plenty of coins. I can tell you that much. Right now, it's been a ton of coins. Now, is it around you? Oh, a little gravestone. Here lies Knight Benzenimum, generous benefactor to the city of. The rest is worn out. I can't make out the name of the city or any dates. It must have been the original name of the cursed city. That was ages ago. Nobody's around to remember the real name. Huh. So I'm guessing going down this way is the main way if we're getting important elements like that going on. So maybe I should go up first. Um. Certainly seems like there's a couple places to go. Oh, this is another new enemy. So, let's figure that out. Mithra Disciple A. Weak to fire, but strong against physical. So, a little bit of a weird mix there, but we can make it work, I think. Uh, hmm. Maybe I'll actually will just focus on physical attacks here. Uh, not exactly what I wanted. And we'll just do all in. I mean, it's not perfect, but it'll work. Heroic strike, another one. All in. Okay, we almost got you defeated, so it actually worked out pretty well. You're gonna poison Copernica. Hmm. Certainly some options. Let's do that. And we could do cold feet, I suppose. Hold on, well actually, if I wanna do it that way, I think I should do the fixer, do the cold feet, and then do the super soaker. There we go. That way they're gonna be weak to frost damage. You're gonna be Thorn Whip. Yikes, they're really beating up on Copernica for some reason. Okay, uh, put this on yourself. We'll do Water Bullet. Well, actually, let's do Chill Out on ourselves and then do Water Bullet. Maybe that'd work out. I, mean, I should probably attack the other guy too. But I'm just trying to work on this guy. There we go. 
Okay, he's gonna do vitality, so he healed both of them. Okay, here we go. This is a creeping cold, what I was sort of looking for. Got the chain going on. And I don't know if they're still weak to Frozen. Should have checked. Okay, there goes that guy. Exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, let's do the Bravado, Brave Buster, Hot Iron. That should be enough. Oh boy. Hopefully. Yeah, there it is. See you, buddy. Okay, so there's that done. And we get level 25 as Copernica. Very cool. I'm thinking now we will change our active party. I don't know, maybe I should actually make it Terran Thane. We'll see how that goes. And there's a way down that way. There's also these guys to fight. Maybe I should have healed Copernica by the chance. So you're super weak to Arcane. You're super weak to Lightning. Okay. All right, well, this is definitely a bit of a weird one, but I think we'll just focus on the B first. I mean, we could do, yeah, if we do a creeping combo. Oh, wait, wait, twin combo might be good. Actually, no, I should have put that on the other one. I got it mixed up. Whoopsies, sorry. That's fine. I mean, it'll still do good against him, but definitely I'm still trying to figure out the synergy with, was it Thera and Thane? I am never gonna remember it, ever, ever. Here, Terra and Thane. I almost got it. Okay, we're getting closer. And they just have so little health and they always seem to be picked on by the enemies. There we go, we got a chain, that'll be good. Nice, ooh, that got rid of them already. So that's pretty good. Now if we focus on you, you paralyze, so you're not gonna move, this is good. This is where Terra and Thane can actually do really well. Because they can do the twin combo again. I can do regeneration on you guys, and then we could do, oh, now I can't. Hmm. I can at least do that and that, and that should work out pretty well because this just does some extra damage and stuff. Nice, nice, okay. And as you can see, it's gonna be level 25 for Galio. Cool. So what is going on over this way? Not too much, I can go down here. There's like so much to see and do. It's crazy. I wanna make sure I get to everything, but you never know when you're gonna turn the corner and go to like a mandatory quest area like this. When you said that the wildlife was different, I did not imagine it to be this corrupted. Looks like it always has. Huh. I admit that I had my doubts about your assertion, but now I see it clearly. The Necronomicog is most definitely close by. Melancholy, or melancholy. Uh, grant one ally the ability to counter attacks and forward any status elements they may be inflicted with for three turns. Interesting. That seems pretty cool. What is over this way then? I have no idea if I'm going the right way or not. I hope I'm not going the right way so I can explore more. That's what I want. Oh, hello. Boom. Okay, so we got these guys and that dude. So let's take a good look at everything. Um. So I don't wanna use arcane moves against you. So like that's where it becomes a problem. You're weak to fire. So like these guys aren't necessarily weak to anything. How many of these do we have? Only one? Uh, not what I wanted. Oh yeah, we have four of these. So like that's sort of what I wanted to see. And then, let's put that on herself. I know it's not really much of a turn this time around, but I, I really gotta get that kind of stuff figured out. I'm gonna use Fade, so, oh. And then double poison, yikes. Yikes. Okay, this is looking not so good. But, what can I do? I can do that, I can smack this guy, and then we can do Super Soaker on him, because why not? Got the chop, got that. Oh, yikes. Double yikes. This is where it might just be good to have Auric instead of uh, Terra and Thane. <sighs> okay, so if I do this, hold on, actually. Uh, I seem to get rid of at least one guy here. So if we can just focus on that guy in the bottom, then that's what I'm gonna do. So it's 295 damage to him right now. Nice, okay, there we go. Terra and Thane are not looking so good at the moment. Neither is Copernica. Okay, this is getting really nasty. Oh, there they go. Like, geez Louise, what do you do? Um. 
We'll try that. I don't know how crazy that'll end up being, but might as well. I don't even think Caperna can be current, she's like corrupted, so she can't currently be healed, and neither can Galio. Like, that's just so tough. And we've barely made a mark on these guys. Like, why does this game have like weird, sudden jumps in difficulty? It probably isn't, and I'm just bad, but you never know. Okay, you know what, we're doing that. We're doing this, I think. You know what, yeah, we're doing this, so that we can heal everybody. Because this situation really sinks. But I, don't, I just don't think that, I don't know. I mean, obviously we're about to lose this one. I think we need to run, so yikes. Sort of don't want to, I sort of want to die because we wasted our health potions for nothing. That's almost every time I use my health potions, I end up using them for nothing, so I guess it's not too big of a surprise. There we go, come on, get out of here, please. Thank you, goodbye, you guys stink. Oh my gosh, this game is so difficult. Let's move back and I'll heal and everything. And we'll have to refight everyone, which stinks, but what, what other option do I really have? I don't know, it's just super tough. So yeah, let's go ahead and heal. Yep, I'm gonna go to our active party and do that instead. Take a look at what you have available. It's super hard to say. I don't even know if my, it'd be cool if there was like a return to default or like if I could set up several different decks depending on the situation. It does sort of bum me out, I can't do that. I mean, I know the decks are super tiny. So I should just be able to do it, but, or keep it in mind and remember, but we're gonna do Fortune's Favor again. What is, what is fascination? I think that wouldn't be too bad. Like maybe we only need one Cyclone Slash. We could do something like that. Make me a bit more of a healer. Cause I feel like we need as much health as we could possibly get. So I gotta go back through everything again. Hold on. Hmm. See there's lots of places to go. Maybe I should actually go down here again. Cause it doesn't seem like there's like any specific way to go. It's all just sort of wild. Oh, big guy. I haven't dealt with a big guy in a while. It's so weird how my sword was going through him. I still didn't hit him. Okay, we definitely don't need overcharge right now. We could do arcane detective. Okay, we get wind call and that's all I'm gonna be able to restore. That only gives me one gear is the problem. So let me do something like this. Got it. I need to see what actually he's weak and strong to. Okay, he did reckless charge, which hurts a bunch. Uh, weak to arcane. <laughs> what do you know? So we could do brain freeze. Yeah, I mean, I guess that works. That's not what I wanted. Okay, so I got a second to break it. That's good. Well, I mean, I guess I get the the chance to finish my turn. Because I wanted to put it over Orc instead. He seems like he needs it more than I do. There we go, he's paralyzed too. That's what I want to see. So. Maybe we should do Fortune's Favor. Oh, but we can also team it up. Heals an additional. Okay, that sounds good. He's paralyzed. Let's hope this lasts a while. There we go. Very good. So now we can get Chill out. Actually, no, we should put that on Copernica. That sounds good as well. Okay. Very nice, hit him for 280. The paralyzation worked for a good while there. Now he's just healing himself, which wasn't nearly for enough. Let's do this then. Hit him really hard. Wind call, fly cut, cyclone slash. Getting half of his current health down, and then we get haste. He's gonna chow down again. That's fine. Um, I could do fixer. Trying to find out what else I can get. Not exactly what I was looking for, but I can definitely, no, no, I'm not done. That's right, okay. Uh, and then we'll do mount a barrier on Auric again. There we go. Do the creeping cold, 360 damage. 
Okay, he's finally gonna hit somebody. He's gonna hit uh, Galio. Here we go, okay. We'll do two lie cuts, and I'll do Cyclone Slash again. It's not gonna be too many gears, but it'll be something, and we have haste next turn. Oh, but that'll be enough. We're fine, we're fine. Awesome stuff. As you can see, more experience, I like it. So we can go either to the right or to the left. Right now I'm just sort of taking a look around. I think we should go to the left. That'll probably be something bonus. Yeah, it is, okay. Get some extra coins. Grab whatever's in here. We get one with the wind, switches to Fujin Mask, which transforms all physical damage dealt into storm damage. That sounds really good. Raises orc storm damage by one grade. My gosh. That actually sounds really, really good because there's a lot of times where we're going against, oh yeah, and I gotta actually change this stuff. Um, hmm. I guess I'll do something like that for now. I wish we just had more pure stat boosters. I mean, definitely one thing I could do is unequip your silver bracelet and stuff and give that to you. Like, where's the power servo? No, no, silver bracer. Right there. That might be better. But, um, what was I saying? I forget now. But yeah, oh yeah, the, 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 the weapon, the uh, thing. There we go. I definitely wanna try that. Because a lot of time there's physical damage that just sort of gets in the way. So maybe instead of like one lie cut, I can do this, one with the wind. Oh, it doesn't even take any gears up, so it actually works out pretty well. Oh man, oh man, I'm excited for that. Okay, now we're up here. Oh, so we've sort of kind of gone in a circle now. I like it, good to know. So if I go back up, I mean there's gonna be enemies again, and I tried the swing and it just didn't work. Okay, so what do we wanna do here? And I could do... That, I guess, but I feel like if I wanna do that... Hmm. You know what, yeah, let's try this. Will it combo for more than one move? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it will, nice, okay. He poisoned Auric, which stinks, and lowered his physical defense. Well, hopefully, he won't even need it. At this rate, we can do that. We can do that. Creeping cold will do its thing. And also freezing, or brain freeze. 323 and 289 is pretty good. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, let's do wind call against you. And I'll do fortune's favor. I think I wanna upgrade fortune's favor. There we go. Heal everybody up a little bit. Now we got haste for next time. Oh boy. So now we get one with the wind. Not really the best timing for it, but good to know. We also have fascination. Just trying to see my options at the moment. And I could try it. <laughs> it wouldn't really, oh yeah, I have one more card I can use. Oh, if I do, then I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and then do that. Maybe I'll use it on the more powerful guy now. So fascination to heal everybody up a bit more. One with the wind, arcane detective, cyclone slash, not bad. It's not too much. We'll get haste again, so we'll be able to do that again next turn. Oh, poor Copernica, really getting beat up there. Um, Definitely cold, creeping cold. No, I guess it's my, sort of my best bet. Uh. There we go, we'll try this out and see how it goes. There we go, that guy's down. So we can just do cold feet and creeping cold on you and we win! Hey, just took Copernica getting really beat up. That's not good. But at least we get that. Okay, so what else do we have? We do have this guy we could fight. And we get a treasure chest waiting for us down this way. Overpower removes all helpful effects on one foe and deals 220% strength as physical damage twice. Huh, okay. That seems to be about it around here. I'm tempted to go back and heal and go the long way around because we definitely handled that a little bit better, even fighting off the big guy. So I might try that out. This is just go all the way around like this, heal up again, but I'm glad with how well we explored all that. So, healing up, going back. 
But yeah, we don't really run into too many enemies around here. I could try to walk around this guy. Like, if I can get around him, I'm definitely gonna try to. Maybe at some point or another, I should probably start grinding. All right, so this is a new area for us. And there's new enemy, well, not new enemies, but new enemies we haven't fought before in this specific area, if you know what I mean. So yeah, let's try something, hold on. Let me also check your strongest. Yeah, it's these guys that are a big pain, aren't they? Oh, you know what, I remember these guys. Yeah, we had to run away from them, because they stink. That's why we wanted Auric, because he can maybe do more stuff that they can't. We'll try that out, and we'll see how it goes. Might not be perfect, but it's my best bet. They're gonna weaken our spirit, apparently. So yeah, we, we're doing less damage overall. It's just a really tough combo of enemies here. Luckily, they're doing mostly just non-attacks. That makes sense. We could do that. That way we can be sort of healed. Oh, uh, did I do chill, uh, not, yeah, chill out on ourselves? That's not really what I wanted. Probably should've put that on Confronica. Uh, live and learn. It still isn't doing so well, but at least we're sort of fighting our way through. Okay, so here's where I wanna probably focus on the, the Wraith. I think he's sort of been the big issue right now. There we go, we'll try that out. Get the lie cut, and then two wind calls. And that's stacking on some damage. Now we can use the haste next turn. And that'll be pretty crazy, depending on if what we get. Because we haven't seen the most important move for Auric just yet. Hmm. Get another lie cut. <laughs> uh I think we'll do barrier on Galio. There we go. Hold on. I can I can do one more move. Let's do Arcane Detective, maybe? Maybe we should do that next turn. We can just do Fortune's Favor, then. Okay. Nice, do it again. I mean, obviously he resists it, but I feel like he's doing more problems. Oh, he's doing intangible, which I think. Oh, you know what, that might make it so that orc can't be healed. Okay, that's sort of a problem. Ow. Is there a way to find out? Now we got Cyclone Slash. Oh, but he's invisible now. Yeah, he has despair and poisoned. Cannot be healed. Yep, that's despair. Thought so. Hmm. I mean, the least I can beat somebody else up. I don't know if I want to do that right now. Oh, I thought we had the thing this time. I guess we don't. Anyways, uh. Yeah, let's just do this against this guy and see what ends up happening. Thank you for the shield. Oh no, oh, we put that on Copernica. I thought we were gonna put that on Auric. Oopsies. And that gets rid of more than half of his health. This guy's gonna fade out of the way again. Oh, and he's paralyzed, nice. That's at least lucky. Let's do a bit of that. Oh, you know what? Oh, hard to say. But I guess we could do this. Sort of an out of the order kind of thing there, but if it works, it works. They're very so weak to that stuff now. We just have to actually beat them up. Oh man, Orc is not doing well here. We need to change that. One way or another. We could do overcharge, but. Hmm. I could try this for now. I don't know if this is actually a good idea or not. I have a feeling it might not be. Oh, he's so, so close to getting taken out. Come on, and I know they're gonna focus on Orc because this game hates me. Ah. Uh. Oh well. What else can I do here? I mean, they're still weak, so I don't have to use Cold Feet for right now. I wanna switch out a recharge. Uh. Hold on, I got one more move I can do. I'm definitely gonna do Super Soaker then, just so I can get rid of this guy. That's what I really need to do. Regenerate ourselves a little bit, get the Guardian, and boom, Super Soaker, this guy's done. At least we got that now. So if we could just combo the other two guys, I mean, this would've been much easier with Auric, but this is what I got right now. So cycle out of that, cycle out of this. And we'll try this out. 
And this way we can get Thunder Wave, maybe we can paralyze one of them. If just one of them would be big, you know? There we go. But neither of them got paralyzed. That's fine, we can make this work. Because I could. You brain freeze, water bullet, and creeping cold. And that'll be a combo, so that's good. Nice. I like it, they are getting lower and lower now. We should be able to win and survive this one. It just wasn't easy. Okay, um. Let's try that out. Nice. He's getting lower. He's in big trouble. We just gotta do a tiny bit more. We can just hold on tight. Not really as much as I was hoping for here, but. It's sort of the best thing I can do. And hopefully have enough Copernica moves to make something crazy happen next round. I don't know if that'll actually happen, because they keep on getting healed every round here. Here we go, okay. Actually, I probably should have recycled something. Ah. Uh, all right, well, if this is the best I can do, might as well go for it. I mean, that definitely does something. Oh, he's almost down. That didn't heal you at all. Oh, because you have the thing. I'm a ding, I should have put it on Gallia. That was a waste, total waste. Why can't I just play the game correctly? Aye, aye, aye. Can't really do much here either. Oh, that is upsetting. I'll do that, we'll see how things go. Come on, I almost got you. And I had to just do something really silly. I really don't wanna die here. I'm gonna be super upset if we die. Okay, that's a little bit better. Uh. Okay, that should be good. Come on. Come on. Yes, we got him. So now we're just gonna focus on this jerk. And he's paralyzed, good, good, good. And he's paralyzed again. If I get rid of overcharge, let's do mana barrier. Okay, so. Let's try that for now. Not bad, he's paralyzed again. Very good. Not paralyzed for that one though. Let's try that, this might be able to finish him off. So I actually do need, got you, I do actually need Copernica to attack before the combo works. Okay, well level 26 for both Copernica and Galio, that's at least good. Man, that took so much work and effort. I never wanna do that again, but I'm probably gonna have to fight somebody off here. No, we get a statue, thank you so much. Definitely heal, and then, oh, what do we got over this way? We get the Zephyr Cape. What is the Zephyr Cape? You'll be harder to hit than wind itself. We get dodge plus. But that'd be great for something like Auric. Uh, over Maver, maybe Silver Bracer, Bracer? Can't speak correctly. Uh, and then maybe on Galia, like we have Power Bangle and we, okay, those things are pretty good though. I don't know. Hard to say. I mean, actually, no, this is, well, this is just a direct health upgrade for him right now. Okay, well, we might as well do that, and we should be fine. Never mind. Overthought that a little bit. Save again, heal again, all that kind of stuff, and keep moving. What else do we got around here? Ooh, something. Aha! It's Captain Canary again. Stand down and hand over all of your weapons and valuables. I forgot how I did his voice. You! You again? Has the Void Army stooped so low as to resort to common highway robbery? He fell apart right now. He's not doing so well. Well, not really. After losing twice to you guys, they kicked me out. So, um, just hand over all of your valuables. And maybe he'll join our team now. <laughs> Here we go again. Third time's the charm, right? Oh my gosh, nope, never mind. It'd be so funny if he joins our team. I'd love that. Uh, let's see what we can choose from now. Um, hmm. 
Yo, let's do cold field. Let's just really get him weak for right now. There we go. That's gonna be pretty good. Actually, I should probably have checked his stats a little bit. Cause he has that and he's a big pain in the butt, so we really wanna work on, work on him any way we can at the moment. He's weak to electricity. Well then, Auric being here is fantastic. Mm, I guess we'll just go with a Lycat. Just earn up some gears. That's definitely better than nothing. And that's 119 damage, which is pretty cool. So if we can earn up a ton of gears and really go at him with that, it would be fantastic. Uh, so for right now, if that's the best I can do, then that's the best I can do. That's still good. Nice. Oh, bird calls coming in. Oh, they're confused. That's sort of an issue. But we can make it work. We can definitely make it work. Get another lie cut. Oh, you're in trouble. You've just made a big problem for yourself. Whoa, nice. He's down to 4,200. Oh, that hurt. I mean, he's still tough, don't get me wrong. Huh. I don't know how I want to do this right now. I don't want to accidentally barrier anybody. Let's do wind call. Uh, I don't want to accidentally barrier him is the thing. But I'll try it, maybe we can get lucky. Uh, yeah, I can't do anything more than that. Unfortunately, our haste is gonna go to waste. So that'll work. Gosh darn it, I should have known. I should have known. I really don't like how he's able to throw that on both guys. That just really stinks. Okay, you know what? We're gonna make you regret doing that. I'm gonna tell you that much right now. I'm gonna do that. Nice. But like, oh man, that's so much, like I feel like the shield hurt, like helped him more than it usually helps our normal teammates. It gave him so much. It's not fair. There, we can at least do that. Yeah, it's like not doing anything to him. It's gonna take forever to get him back down to that. I shouldn't have done it, I know I shouldn't have, because I know that the game never just takes my side with anything. I need to reload this, I already do. Um, and I can't run, so I'm just gonna have to quit the game and rejoin it. Oh man, I'm so upset now. So let's try this again. I mean, I could try something a little bit dif different. I could do chill out, because it does improve storm damage like that. I don't want to do fascination. I don't know who I would shield. Probably Orc. Orc gets singled out quite often. But that's going to do extra 268. Wow, that's actually pretty good. So let's see if I can't work with that then. Because we had a great start, and I just like trampled all over it. Hmm. Maybe build up some gears after that. I do need to build up gears if we wanna do the uh, the lightning cut, whatever it is. Oh my gosh, really? Wow, okay. Um. Well, I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that Copernic is not confused at the moment. We'll do cold feet and we'll do brain freeze. Come on. I use one gear there, but it's better than nothing. Oh, you missed, nice, okay. There's a dodge chance coming in. Uh, Can I get one Copernica move? I can't. Okay, well I can't really risk too much here, so I'm just gonna take a skip. We get two more gears out of it. We get another, or one more gear, another gear there. Jeez, stop doing that. Here we go, okay, everybody's back at it and they're mad. They're real mad. Let's try that out. Earn up more gears and stuff. Oh, we're doing so good. So good. No, all three of them? That is not fair. I am, I am so upset at the moment. Where's confusion? Oh, we don't even have a confusion cure. Ah, not fair at all. 
Now I'm gonna have to wait this, like the smartest thing to do would be to wait it out. I do not wanna risk attacking ourselves or attacking somebody else or healing him. That would stink, so just wait it out. Maybe I should have like recycled my card so I can have a plan for when everybody's back up, because it lasts two turns. But I didn't do that, because I'm a dingus. So let's do Cyclone Slash right away, so that I can do something like that, and then we can do Regenerate. There we go, see how that feels, buddy? Oh man, he's lower than he was last time, even. The Zapping Strike stinks, but we can make it work. Hmm. Let's just do that to earn up some gears, I think. That works. Because he's less than 3,000 health now. So as long as not everybody gets confused every five stinking seconds, we should be able to survive, but right now we can't. This will at least be a good chain. We get Wind Call, which is doing some nice damage to him. And we can heal everybody. That's sort of bad for Copernica. All right, so we do have uh, Cyclone Slash, so I just need to sort of cycle through everything. And hit him for as hard as I can, like that's sort of my best bet at the moment. I can't do anything more than that then. Nice, okay, he's at 1,260, we can definitely win this time. It's just sort of about surviving and waiting that out. Okay, I think that would be very good for when everything is nice and ready for it. For next turn, really. Okay, I'm gonna have to just do that. For next turn, it'll be great. This turn, not so much, but as soon as she can get out of that confusion, which she's not yet, but I know she will be. Uh, Maybe get rid of, I don't know if that was a good idea. Okay, just leave it be. Do the lie cut, he is so close to getting taken out, and I know it can, if, as long as she doesn't get destroyed after this, I'd be so upset, because that would just, just not be fair. Uh, I don't know if I need to do it that way then. Might just be able to do this. And that's at least something. Make you weaker to frost. Hit you with this, the uh, cold, the creeping cold. There we go, no! Leave her, leave her alone. Okay, so I might get rid of Fortune's Favor. Yeah, I get Lycut. Try that out. Cause he is getting lower and lower with each one. Oh, so close. Get the haste. Ah, uh, okay. If it's just one, I can handle. Cause now all we gotta do is something like that. Well, actually, if I'm gonna do it that way, I should do And that should get him. I'd be very surprised if this doesn't take him out. We'll find out. Yeah, there it is, we got him. Wheel away. How are you still still alive after beating you three times? Who knows, but we got it. Not even a level up for anybody. <laughs> Strange fellow, that one, but no more wasting time. Let's walk. Oh, and there's still more. I thought that was gonna be the end of the chapter right there. Whoa, no wait, was it? I don't know. Well. Here we are. Indeed. All right, well, that was it. Sort of an anticlimactic end to the chapter, but there we go, chapter 11, A Blooming Corruption. Haunted by the corruptive state of the forest, our fearless company enters the ruins harboring the Necronomicog. Very, very cool. So there goes all of that, very cool to see. And that means we are good to move on to the next chapter in the next episode of Steam World Quest. If you want to support a video, make sure you comment Canary Zebra Sony Watch the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.